Hi, I'm Dory. Well, I probably should tell you, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Unless I've already told you that. Hmm. So glad you're here, because if I got a story for you... Wait, do I have a story for you? Yes! Yes, I do! It's a story about me and my friends. Oh, and my family! Are you ready? Woohoo! Let's go! Oh, well, uh, hang on. What's that big thing with the wiggly parts? Right! Oh, and... What's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. It all started one morning when I was on my way to meet Mr. Ray in his class. bumped right into a huge jack-o'-lantern. Phew, that was a close one. Almost there when I saw Nemo playing with somebody new, a friendly kitten. <laughs> and then I found Mr. Ray just in time for class. around because Mr. Ray needed help. All his students had disappeared. What? When did this happen? Oh, hi Marlin. This is Marlin. He's my friend. And he looks like, well, I mean, you can see him right here. Dory, when did the whole class disappear? Well, well listen, I'm telling you. A a and you. Oh, well, uh, hang on. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits. The one? And while we're at it, what do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. Anyway, since I was the teacher's assistant that day, I told Mr. Ray I'd find all six of his missing students. Oh, Dory, come on now. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Come on now, let's find those kids. Oh. Hi, you? <laughs> Pearl 
was playing with a bouncy old boot. Hi, you. Oh, oh hello. Where are you going? last and saved him from a dangerous exploding Dory! giraffe Dory 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 that did not happen I would have heard about it what's important is that I was a great teacher's assistant right right but you said right was the day of the great stingray migration. Mr. Ray took the whole class to the edge of the reef to see it. Field trip! Hmm, one sec. Maybe you know this. What's the thing with the lumps? It makes that noise, you know. Really? Okay, one more thing. What do you call the thingamajig? You know, it's round, it kind of tickles. <laughs> Wow, good thing you're here. Both of those will be important in a moment. I love field trips, but I knew I had to keep up with Mr. Ray or I'd forget where I was going. Oh! Migration, migration, let's learn about migration. It's nature's inspiration to move around the sea. to stop for a moment when I heard the beat of this hypnotic rubber ducky. <laughs>
back to the edge of the reef. And wow, the stingray migration was incredible. Until I got hit by a speeding cactus. <gasps> Are you sure it wasn't a stingray that hit you? Nope. But whatever happened, it actually turned out to be a good thing. What? In what way was that possibly a good thing? Because it helped me remember my family! California. Yes! Then then Crush took Marlin, Nemo, and me on a really fast current. Whee! All the way there. Hmm. One sec. Maybe you know this. What's that thing? It's bright and shiny, and you always wish there was about a hundred of them. That's the one! And while we're at it, there's a dealy bob, and it makes this noise that whoa! It's always way louder than you'd expect. Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. I remembered this place from when I was a kid. Someone here had to know my parents. I figured if I could find six crabs, at least one of them would know where my family was. He's a really good hider, but I found him under this cute little pinwheel.
last crab. Boy, was he hard to find. Probably because he made a home out of a really fashionable teddy bear. The next thing I knew, we woke up... Hmm. I want to say it was someone named Gary. It was a giant squid. Oh, yes, a giant squid named Gary. No, no Gary. There was no time for naming. Oh, right, because Gary was chasing us. 